that remember year 2000 and the, the whole thing with the computers and then there was 1984 the George Orwell and a lot of people mm-hmm. anticipated that as well something big was going to happen now I guess uh, the main thing people talk about when it comes up the year 2012 is the Mayan calendar a lot of people refer to it as like being the end Yes, um, and that calendar is known as the Long Count Calendar. Mm -hmm. In fact, it goes back 26,000 years, but it ends on the winter solstice, December 21st of 2012. And as a result, many people believe that the Mayans, who were very great astronomers and mathematicians, have actually predicted the end of the world occurring on that day. Um, the Mayans actually had predicted every single solar eclipse that has ever occurred up till now with great accuracy. And their calendar is actually more accurate than the one we use today. Which is the Gregorian calendar. Yes, that's correct. And here's a quote from a Mayan elder to give you some idea of some of the scientific things that go into this uh, prediction as well. His name is Don Alejandro. He's a Mayan elder. He says, on December 20th, 2012, Mother Earth will pass inside the center of a magnetic axis, and it may be darkened with a great cloud for 60 to 70 hours, and that because of environmental degradation, she may not be strong enough to survive the effects. It will enter another age, but when it does, there will be great and serious events. Earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, volcanic eruptions, and great illness on the planet Earth. Few survivors will be left. And as I did the research for this book, I found that science actually uh, lends credence to many of these ancient prophecies because science is saying there will be an alignment of the planets in 2012 that will be in juxtaposition with the dark hole that's in the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. And they really have no idea what effect this will have upon our um, planet because it's never uh, happened before in recorded history. But they do think something will happen. And also in that same year, there will be a great deal of solar um, activity taking place that will have uh, an effect upon our planet as well. More intense, uh, they call it the solar maximus, and it will be more intense than um, any sunspots or sunstorms that we've seen since the middle part of the 19th century when most telegraph lines were taken out of commission by the activity that was taking place on the sun. So uh, even science is saying something could very well happen in the year 2012, but they're just not sure of rotation there. Yeah, so a lot of, it seems like most cultures and faith... Everybody uh, has their own interpretation of how it's all well, going Well, yeah, to, but uh, they end. all view that there was a beginning and there will be an end. There will be an end. And I, I remember years ago people talking about an end, and you saw comics of the guy carrying around the sign with, uh, you know, the, the end, end is, is near. The end is nigh or the end is near, yeah. But there's more of a feeling today, I think, with a lot of people, and when it shows up in Hollywood to sell tickets in the theater, you know it's on people's minds, and people are now kinding to accept that idea that maybe doom is coming. Very much so. Uh, in fact, you know, just as a case in point, I was uh, at the hairdressers the other day, and, and without even talking about it uh, to her at all, she said, Lloyd, I think uh, something terrible is about to happen in the world, and I think a lot of people feel that. Yeah. It's just kind of a, a feeling. There is a program called the WebBot program um, that's really uh, a means of tracking what's going on in people's minds um, Mm -hmm. and through through the uh, World Wide Web. And it even has something to say about 2012. It is predicted that the planetary lineup that will occur in 2012 will cause extraordinary solar events that will include an output of enormous energy, gamma ray bursts, and dangerous plasma discharges. These things, if true, could well bring dire times upon our planet. So 
all of this is in here, and uh, I don't want to be a prophet of doom by any means, mm-hmm. because I am a believer in Christ, and as such, I believe the Lord will return, that the rapture will occur, and that that will be followed by a time of great tribulation, such as the world has never seen before. And uh, I think the Bible says even um, the end of that tribulation will be the earth will be destroyed by fire, which could, of course, be a nuclear holocaust or whatever. After that, though, there will be a period of 1,000 years of peace on this planet, and that's where I personally, um, that's my personal feeling and belief about this whole matter. And, uh, of course, there are a lot of scriptures to back that up. Yeah, biblical prophecy does talk about this as well, and quite a bit, and especially in Revelations, last book of the Bible. But it does talk about the earth and heavens being melted with fervent heat, Lloyd, I don't, like total destruction. Yes, and after that takes place, though, um, and I'm not sure exactly how that will happen, of course, uh, I believe that... Um, most orthodox eschatology says that Jesus will uh, reign for a thousand years of peace on, um, on this planet, and it will be returned to the state um, of the Garden of Eden, a perfect paradise at that time. You don't think that this uh, planet will, will just be totally discarded completely in it? Uh, there's talk about new heavens, new earth as well, though, in the Bible. So. Yes, and I think the new earth is exactly what they're talking about. Um, and so there's no reason to fear as long as a person has faith. Lawrence Joseph wrote this, what we need right now is courage, the courage to face the future with all its glorious potential and all its terrible possibilities. The price of facing danger is fear, which of course can be quite unpleasant, even paralyzing at times. We must demand courage of our leaders, but they will respond only if we show it ourselves. The mere act of preparing for the coming tumult will save us, perhaps physically, and certainly...